Who who is your favorite in the studio back in Virginia artist? Back in the studio artist from what outside the camp or yeah or outside or... so not Black Street so anyone that came from outside to come and record. Uh, the word I think it was Cheryl Lynn because she liked to bowl a lot. We went, <laughs> <laughs> we went bowling after after every uh, vocal session with Cheryl Lynn. We went bowl, we went bowling. <laughs> but it, she was fun, man. That that had to be my favorite. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, Will Smith was funny. Oh, okay. I'm I'm looking for the one to be with you. Okay. Yeah. He came down stay by the week. Wow. He cracked jokes on everybody. He probably don't remember. <laughs> that. But he looked at me and told me I was the oil change from Teddy Truck. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that I could say that the bottom at the time because I was laughing. <laughs> so, what, so what can you say to Will Smith? <laughs> oh, uh, Ham, Ham was fun too. Ham was fun. Oh, you know, I forgot I pumps and a bump. Yeah, yeah, Ham was fun, man. We was uh, he was a lot of fun. Every, every, and uh, I think I. I Everybody that came down that was fun, they, they had the athlete side too. But I, I love, you to love to play sports. So I know, uh, yeah, Hammer had the athlete side. And Cheryl Lynn, like I said, she loved to bowl. Okay. And we went bowling every night with her. Yeah. You know, that Hammer, I mean, the pumps and bump was, a, you know, it reminded me of like a Trapman stuff. But I was, I don't know if it's the video that probably pushed, was that mm -hmm. she kind of took it didn't make it take it take it seriously especially when he yeah. was wearing the speedos but it wasn't it was a nice track yeah yeah it it i, I don't know what happened with that really. i i think if the label would have got behind it more like if you burn something in somebody's ear you you can make them like and, no, and like I, you said it, it wasn't a bad song it wasn't a bad i think the video because he came from you know the the fun hammer, but I think the video was just too. I think he overdid the video with the speedos yeah. and all that, and yeah. I think it was just too much of an image change. But it was a very, it was a it was very it was a good track. It was it was yeah. it, it, it was a good track. Um, but um, but then when he, did Heavy D come into the studio to do, on that Nothing But Love when he did um, what track was it that he did? Um, Heavy D came down twice. I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, I know him and Bill Bellamy, they came down around the same time. Bill Bellamy? Uh, what was Bill Bellamy? He, he was on the, uh, hey, fellas. On the, oh, uh, Booty Call. <laughs> yeah. But they was around, I think they was in around the same time, like the same week. I, I remember a lot. The studio crowded with people. Uh, Heavy D, Bill Bellamy, uh, Orange Juice Jones. He was down there for a little while, so. But was he uh, Orange Juice Jones? But, but did he come up with something? No, nah, he he was uh, actually down uh, writing on. I think he was trying to write on a few projects. But that that was a fun cat to be around too. He told me a lot of temp stories from back in the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I so yeah. I mean, now let me see. I think the Heavy D one was um, not because it sounds very. It sounds very similar to the Will Smith one. Um, uh, but you, it was uh, uh, you ain't talking about uh, uh, my thing. I, I know the remix he did for Heavy D was a uh, not the remix. That was the original song he did. Get up and do my thing. That's the uh, song Teddy did. But Heavy D actually came to Virginia Beach for a remix, and I can't remember which one uh, he did. No, but but he he had the um, you know because he because you guys did um. Um, on 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 the nothing but heavy love. D came down. I know what it was. Heavy D came down to do the rap on uh the Mary J Blige remix, right? I think he's on the Mary J Blige remix. Um, yeah. Um, this is your night. This is yeah. your night. So he he did that track. Yeah. Um, 
he, yeah, he did, he did that. That was about ninety four when, when he came out. But um, okay, so yeah, that's that's when he came out uh, for that. But he, who's listed as a producer? Just Teddy. Okay. Um, yeah, that that's okay. That's when he came out for that one. But then you, um, yeah, I've just had. Um, you, were you there when when Guy did the um, Guy three? No, before they did the Guy three, they did a track for New York on the cover. Um, no, uh, New Jack City. No, not the New Jack. They they did the track for New New York on the cover called um, Tell Me What You Like. So it was. Yeah. After oh yeah, tell me what you like. Uh, yeah, I was there for that. So what happened? Because I, I interviewed, I was interviewing Damon, and he was talking about it, but my computer f crashed <laughs> after, and we'd been talking for almost two hours, and we, we didn't connect. Uh, and he was, you know, from what Damon was saying was that when they called them for the track, because Blacksmith had come out, done their album, he was under the impression that Guy was coming back together to do an album. So they did the song, and then it was a split. But did you were you around? Did they come to Virginia, Aaron and, and yeah. Damien for, for the yeah, track? Yeah, they came to Virginia. Yeah, but I think "Tell Me What You Like" was actually I think it was the Black Street song at first. Oh, uh, that that may be why Damien was uh, Damien didn't like cutting other people's song. He Damien wants some cut specifically for him, <laughs> for for guy. And it was, you know, it was a little animosity. That there was, there was that guy was there, and Black Street was there at the same time, and they had a little competition thing going on. Yeah, I mean, from your point of view, I mean, you've seen, you you were there with the early days with Guy, and then you were there with the beginning of Black Street. Um, what's what would you say is the difference between both groups? Uh, I I would say Aaron was 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 had more animal in him than anybody else out of all the all the singers. He, he even Joe Stone Street. Aaron Aaron wanted to work, and he wanted to, when you know when he come to the studio, Aaron wanted to work. Mm. If if you weren't working, Aaron didn't want to be there. So I would say his uh his work at work ethic uh. I would say uh, Aaron played, you know, made made the difference in, in those two. Okay. You know, uh, uh, other the other members they can come to the studio, and if you're not working, they can sit around for a little while. But Aaron didn't want to sit around; he wanted to work. Wow. So he yeah, was. So, uh, and 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 I think he has probably the most distinct vocals. Um, oh yeah. Of, of any singer, uh, um, R&B singer. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Nah, nah, that's Aaron kind of fueled my fire. Like that's who I thought was when they first came out. I thought that was Teddy Riley because he was out front, and that, that's all you heard. Teddy, Teddy Riley and his new group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, we all thought Aaron, Aaron was Teddy uh, Riley okay. until, we, until we met him. Okay. Was like no, that's Teddy right there, and the lead singer is Aaron. Yeah, and, but in person, how is back in? Back when you were part of base, um, basic black VR production, yeah. Back, how was Aaron? Because I know he changed as he gets older. But how was he back in those early days? Was he quiet uh, or was he reserved or no, very the, the same he is today, man. He, he he gonna make you laugh for about two hours. Wow! Uh, until your stomach, <laughs> until your stomach hurt. But you know, but he go he go work, and then like when break time, he gonna make you laugh two hours. He ain't going he ain't gonna lie to you. He gonna tell you the truth. If you got something on that, uh, like an ugly outfit, he gonna <laughs> tell you. <laughs> he, he gonna tell you you got an ugly outfit. If you do some bad vocals, he gonna tell you you're not. You're like, mm, uh uh, nah, that ain't that ain't it, son. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he would tell you. But uh, yeah, man. I when I and then, especially when they came to Virginia Beach, because I always want to see him and Diesel get together. It was like they uh like two cousins that haven't seen each other for 20 years. So wow. I, I, I always want to see uh that reaction once they saw each other again. Wow. Uh, vocally then you because you you you've you've had Stone Street because everyone talks highly of Stone Street. Then you've had Diesel and they have Aaron. What would you say has been the difference between the three of them vocally? 
I say I would say D, Diesel power and range, but but Aaron had that tone. Diesel loved Aaron tone, and Diesel, you know, even Diesel said that that probably one of his favorite vocals. And uh, but imagine those two; they was in a group together. It was Diesel, it was Aaron, and it was a guy named Dinky Bingham, and all three of them had the same like the same tone. Wow. And if you if you pull up this song called uh, it was a group called Jamaica Boys, yeah, with uh with Marcus Miller, play that the singer they had that that and Dinky is the lead singer on there. Listen to that track, and you'll hear a, a similarity between him, Aaron, and uh, and Diesel. Yeah. And all three all three of them was in a group at one time. Yeah. Uh, so imagine imagine that would have came out. Yeah, that's I mean that would have been awesome. But what about Joseph? Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview, loads to come. But thanks a lot for watching.